Hello, this is Laura Simpson from Web Luminary, and I want to go over how to make changes on your WordPress website when you already have the page built and you just want to add a section. And I'm going to share my screen. And while I'm talking, um, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe my channel, and you'll get a notification every time that I um, post a video, which I tend to do in groups, obviously. So this is a lot, the website I just um, released. And what they wanted was a section that was um, right underneath the main um, picture to talk about sales. So I gave them two choices. I was going to add a little banner up here or um, put it with something in between these two sections and that they, they selected something between these two sections. So what I did was I created a template so they could easily add and remove this section. So let's talk about getting into edit mode. Um, I've already logged in and I have another video on how to log in if you don't know how to do that. But I've logged in and the way that you edit a page that's been built at Elementor is that you need to edit with Elementor. <laughs> if you hit edit page, it's, it's gonna take you to a different section where you, you're really not seeing like what you see is what you get. Um, it has other things on there. There is a reason to go there, but for what we're doing, edit with Elementor is where you need to go. So here we are. So we're editing the home page. And so we're hitting that button while we're looking at the home page. And I hope this is working faster. It really depends on my speed. All right, here we are. So this is, we're in the editor and you can see there's a left-hand bar that says Elementor. That's, it's the Elementor is a page builder or editor. And these are all widgets like intersection, heading, image, text editor. So this is a heading, for example. Um, this is a button, you get it, makes sense. So we're adding a whole section. And I, I design all my websites and sections because then it's easy to, you can actually drag and drop them and you can do different areas. And it just makes sense to me because it kind of keeps text together and easily organized. So we're gonna add a section between this picture and this section. Oh, this is a section also. So we just hit the plus button. And then you're given three choices. This is going to give you a choice of rows, like what your row will look like. This kind of makes sense. This is the Astro Themes starter templates, which are really helpful. Um, I use them all the time. They make my website design faster. I tend to start with one and then I modify it. Um, and I spend a lot of time trying to stop. They have a ton. So let me just show you real quick what that looks like in case you're building the whole page. So as you can see, Astra, the theme, comes with all these templates of this. And that's, but some of them have a premium next to it. So I do have a premium version. I haven't looked at the price in a while. I think it's close to 200 for the year. It's one of the most expensive um, things out there because it comes with so many templates. It's very well supported. It has so many options. You can set your fonts, your colors. Um, and almost make your website as IT geek would call, like object oriented. Like there's a header one, or a header two look. So anyway, I'll stop geeking out and I'll 
get into what we're here to talk about, which is I've saved a template. So it's going to be here. And it said add, but we will go to my templates. And as we see, there were blocks there for sections. And I called this specials section because it's for their specials and discounts. And hit insert. Um, always say don't apply. That's all I'm going to say. If you're working with an existing website that you've already designed. And case of all my clients, that is the case. So just hit don't apply. And it's going to remember what font um, that is being used for your headers and what font is being used for your regular text. And there it is. So if you want to save this, this is the tricky part of pop off. All you have to do is hit upload. Um, of course, you, you're going to probably want to change this. Maybe the next holiday is Easter. So what I did there was I didn't type in here, which you can, but it's really safer to type here. Um, if you type this somewhere else, I can talk to myself a little bit. I have no idea. That was one of my questionnaires. Let's say this is the advertisement. You copy, you can copy and paste into here. And that works fine. So this is the title. You can here. You can type just as much in here. And if you want to make this smaller, this is a hover two. You can change it to a number four. You can make the size small, medium, extra large, extra large. So that's how you change everything. There's more things you can change, but it won't blow your mind. And if you're using a template where the colors and the fonts have all been saved, which if you're my client, that's what you have, then you really shouldn't be going into these different areas um, and changing the color or that kind of thing. But that's it. And then lastly, I'm sure you have it on the button. And here's button. So right now it's justified locked, but you can set on it. Just keep it off with the possible screen. And then you're going to say this Carlos at Better. So you get small area to type text into over here on the editor, as you can see on over here. And if you're wondering what this is, it just needs different colors for the most part. I'm going to take a program that. Um, that was used to bulk. And then the link. So for a telephone number, the link is actually, you can program number. T-E-L colon. I'll hit update. All right, now let's see what it looks like. I want to make sure it's saved. And then we hit this little eyeball down the bottom. Hands over it right now. Yeah. 
So you can actually click on it on the desktop and it's going to be based on uh, the store, which this is really the for sale. So. Um, but as you can see, the button went into a yellow color. So actually, I lied. You will want to go into style and change that. So the normal is the defaults. But the hover background color is yellow. I have different, I have their colors saved here. So here's a class. There's the mix black It's from their logo. It's just the, the color codes that are with their logo. So I changed that. That's why you always test everything you do. I'm going to update. Let's look at it again with the preview button. There we go. It's going to FaceTime me on my own. So I'm not going to go through with that. And that's it. And last thing I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. The say Easter's over. Oh, sales over. We don't have any sales right now. Just hit the X. Hit update again. And it's automatically saved. Hmm, that's not nice. I want to do it update twice. Let's make sure the color goes off. And that's it for uh, adding a section in, that is already in a template using the extra theme in WordPress. And um, again, like and subscribe if you like my videos. And um, that's it.